newest bad boys on the block will make you feel like the floor fell out from under you, literally. It's Medusa, a design phenomenon, and it'll turn your squirming, screaming body to stone. Roller coaster designers know that coaster fans are always searching for new, more intense ways to drive themselves into states of velocity-induced ecstasy. And that means it's not just what rails you ride, but how you ride them. We're seeing an increasing variety of different styles of coasters, uh, amphibious coasters, spinning coasters, converted coasters, tumbling coasters like X. I now count 35 different styles and variations of roller coasters. I'm sure there's more on the horizon. And one of the most radical new experiences can be found at Six Flags Marine World, just outside San Francisco. Imagine having someone yank the floor right out from under you, so all you see is a whole lot of landscape rushing underneath your dangling legs. Well, take a look at the face of Medusa. It'll turn even the toughest coaster fan to stone. Medusa is a floorless coaster where they uh, take away some of your security by taking away the floor of the ride. So uh, we've ridden on, on rides where your legs dangle, but usually the track is above you. This time the track is below you and it's threatening to take out your shoes. It's a little unnerving. This vicious creature takes riders down a 150-foot first drop and hits eye-rolling speeds of 65 miles an hour. And with your feet whipping madly past nearly 4,000 feet of cold steel track, you're going to feel like you're flying within an inch of your life. It's long and it has some great elements that uh, give total airtime out of your seat. It has the world's largest loop. It's huge, it's massive. I mean, that's what I like about it. And you're just kind of like weightless at the top of the loop. Loops, the teardrop-shaped brain shakers that designers use to confuse and confound coaster fans. There is no other experience like it. Everything's a blur. If you're looking up, everything's just a blur and it just feels like your body's just turning around and flipping and everything. You can't tell top from bottom either yeah. way. A design feature that made its debut less than 30 years ago, the loop is an integral part of today's coaster experience. When you go on a loop, you know, compared to a drop, the loop changes the mentality of the ride all of a sudden. And you don't expect it, and it just goes boom. I mean, you see it coming, it goes up, but next thing you know, it feels like you're stalling, 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 but then you're back again. The oblong shape of the loop allows riders to enter the inversion at safe speeds while still enabling the coaster car to make the full circuit of the loop. The simple loop has led to other incredible inversions like cobra rolls, barrel rolls, and any other upside down head to the ground move you can think of. And on Medusa, inversions are the name of the game. So you better hope your heart can pump something a little more potent than adrenaline, because you're going to need it to get through this one. It's insane. That's all I got to say. It's insane. So now, see firsthand how Medusa at Six Flags Marine World will make you feel like you're flying feet first into pure fun. First drop and into the incredible positive Gs of the first loop, the biggest in the world. In version number two, Medusa crushes your will as you hit the sweeping barrel roll. Diving a few feet below ground level will give you the feeling you're going to hit pavement. Say hello to the negative G's as Medusa shoots you up into the wicked back-to-back -back inversions known as the Sea Serpent. You barely have time to catch your breath before you roll into a banking turn and into your sixth inversion. Then into a 360 degree corkscrew and up into one more inversion. Ride inches from the ground for a few hundred feet and into the station. You are now officially a shell of your former self.